when you look at something, you should always look at its composer, when you're looking at it for the first time, who composed it, when did they live, what style that is, what is the sort of arrangement. Here we have a concertino, so it's going to be a short presentation of the violoncelle. And, and it looks like we have an allegro for the first movement, but we are looking at the third movement here. And we're going to look at something we've never done. So the finale doesn't look very long, but always look here. Look at the speed. Look at the... So we are here. How fast is it? Allegro. So it has sprightly speed. What is the key signature? We don't see anything. So that is in C. And what is the time signature? And the time signature is in 6 8. I also give counsel as to looking at the texture of each and every one of these measures. Does it look like in continuous six or does it look like it's in a one, two, three, two, two, three in this cadence? And if so, that is a way you should count it in your head. It's easy with six, eight because you have these, these divisions. And so now we have understood it's in a one, two, three, two, two, three. Find a place where you can easily count that out. And I find the very first place would be here in the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five would be here in the fifth stave and we want to just play this passage here with the idea of playing this one two three two two three we want to have that cadence in place since we're doing this for the first time we need to get a tempo going now if that's too fast one two three two two three count the beats one two three Notice I'm placing weight on the one and the four of the six, but it's a one, two, three, two, two, three, and that two, two, three, that's the four of the six. But I have to get this going now. I won't count and I won't tap, but I'll do it before, prior one. Two, three, two, two, three. difficult at this speed something like this would be easier to play if it was faster so let's start to play it quicker this six eight will now feel like it's in a two one two three two two three that's why you say one two three two two three so one two three two two three and when you have that down and then pick a random passage wherever you want and I'm going to just start here at the beginning and see if I can play that and again wanting starting very linear we're going to start not on the pickup measure but right on the first complete measure and see if we can play to this bit right here one two three two two three two two three one So that is what you want to do. If it's too fast, then one, two, three, two, two, three. 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 <laughs> it's not easy to count as you play. And when you have that down, try to do short passages throughout it that are linear until you have this cadence, this G. You notice how I'm taking samples out of it. One, two, three, two, two, three. If that is too fast, then slow it down. One, two, three, two, two, three. Just remember, when you're playing something in a 6-8, it is sometimes easier to play it quicker because we can feel this 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3 better when it's played at a quicker speed. That is the best counsel I can give you.
concerning finding uh, your footing when playing something brand new for the first time. You look at who composed it, how fast it is, key signature, and then of course time signature. Then you look at the texture, look at how it looks, what is presented to you. Is it looking as a one, two, three, four, five, six, or as a one, two, three, two, two, three, however it is. Sometimes it's arranged one, two, 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 three, two. So this one here is clearly done in a one, two, three, one, two, three, that sort of bit right there. And eventually you'll be able to get it to a speed which you would like. <laughs> this fourth concertino from Brival last movement for you. <laughs> 